Okay, so we are now on Lesson 5, Chapter 5 in Ratios and Proportional Reasoning on Graph Proportional Relationships. This is page 386. If you read the little intro on page 385, it gives you all of your key terms of the coordinate plane, x, y coordinate, ordered pair, and quadrants. That is all review. You should all know all of that information. So now, to identify if proportional relationships are proportional, or to, if, the, if a graph, when it's graphed, if the line is proportional, you will need to look to see if the quantities on the coordinate plane, um, if when it, it's graphed, if it forms a straight line through the origin. Through the origin is very key. If you could have a straight line not through the origin, and it wouldn't be proportional. It would be linear, but not proportional. So, and then this is another key term about linear relationships. Linear relationships are relationships that have straight line graphs. Okay, linear line, straight line. Okay, line, linear. All right, um, straight line. So, uh, here's an example. And it says the slowest mammal on earth is the tree sloth. It moves at a speed of six feet per minute. Determine whether the number of feet the sloth moves is proportional to the number of minutes it moves by graphing on the coordinate plane. Explain your reasoning. Okay, so, let's see, it went too far. Okay, so, it says make a table to find the number of feet walked for zero, one, two, three, and four minutes. So here we're looking at a table once again. So, and then it says distance, zero, distance six, 12, 18, and 24. So it went zero distance and zero minutes. So that should be, if it's going to go on the origin, that should be your first, whenever your x is zero, your y should be zero. Okay, so your x and y, all right, should be zero. So this is a straight line and it goes up by six each time. And this forms a straight line. So this, situation is a proportional relationship. So the line passes through those through the origin and is straight. If it curves at any point, it is not proportional. Okay? So let's go back and let's look or let's go down and look at the Okay? So it says James earns five dollars an hour babysitting. To determine whether the amount of money James earns babysitting is proportional to the number of hours he babysits by graphing on the coordinate plane and explain your reasoning. Okay, so if he were to graph, okay, so he put one hour, I'm gonna make my table, so hours and money, okay? Let's make our little graph, we'll do a couple points. One hour, two hours, and three hours. So he earns $5 an hour, that's important. So for one hour, he earns $5. Two hours here is ten dollars. Three hours here is fifteen dollars. So now I go to my my coordinate plane and I graph it. And at zero, if he worked zero hours, he would make zero money. At one hour, he would make five dollars. At two hours, he would make ten dollars. And at three hours, he'd make fifteen dollars. This not on my straight line, but that does form a straight line. It goes up by a constant change. Again, we hear that constant change. That is what makes things proportional. If there's a constant change, and a straight line shows a constant change. So it is proportional. Okay? Because it's straight line through the origin. Straight line through the origin. All right, so there's a couple more examples, but I'm not going to work through example two. I'm going to go to the got it problem on the next page, on page 387. Okay, so this says, this table shows the number of calories an athlete burned per minute of exercise. Determine whether the number of calories burned is proportional to the number of minutes by graphing on the coordinate plane. Explain your reasoning in the work zone. Okay, so 
We've already gotten our graph. Now, or our, I'm sorry, our table. Now we need to use our table and graph it. So we'll take number of minutes and we'll make that X. And we'll do number of calories and make that Y. So number of minutes, zero equals zero. Okay, well, our first thing, it must, it must pass through the origin. And it must be straight. Okay, so let's check these two things. Well, it passes one test. Okay, it goes straight through the or it goes through the origin. But let's see. Now this one, I go up by four. Okay, one at four, two at eight. Now if I only graph these two points, that looks pretty proportional. This is where it falls off. Three to thirteen. Three and thirteen. Okay, that comes up here. So my line doesn't quite go straight. It goes a little crooked. Okay, it's close to straight but it's not quite straight, okay? So it's not straight, so it is not proportional. Okay, remember, straight line passes through the origin. Uh, and then you will have to do the guided practice on page 388. And you will do those three questions. I will talk through this last example for you. And it says, which batting cage represents a proportional relationship between the number of pitches and the cost? Now, the graph of softball plus is a straight line, but it does not pass through the origin. So this is what we're saying. We have two, two things, two criteria it must meet. Straight line and through the origin. So straight line and origin. So yes, they both meet that they're a straight line, the blue one meets that it's a straight line, and the red one meets that it's a straight line, but the red one is the only one that goes through the origin. So they are. Uh, so the relationship is not proportional for softball plus. Not proportional, and this is proportional. Okay, so go ahead and do one, th two, and three, and bring that to class.